Good afternoon and welcome to another UNIST MQL Minute. My name is John Wickerchess and I'm here with UNIST Nate Pegman. Hey John. And we're here to discuss the UNIST systems and dual channel fluid delivery. So Nate, what do you have for us today? Well John, I have a uh, UNIST Cool Lubricator here, which is an MQL system that delivers continuous lubrication. Um, and it happens to be dual channel output on this particular unit. Now, Nate, you mentioned dual channel. Can you explain to our viewers a little bit about what that means? Sure. Um, dual channel systems like this one here uh, feature a hose within a hose uh, delivery method. Um, and if we take a closer look, you can see that uh, there's an intercapillary hose that delivers the oil and an outer hose that delivers the air. And the air and fluid stay completely separate until right at the tip of the nozzle where they mix. Keeping air and fluid separate has several benefits, John. Um, one is that keeping the air and the fluid separate until the very end um, maintains a consistent atomization of fluid regardless of how long your hose is. Um, if the fluid and the air were combined the entire length of the hose, there'd be the chance that the fluid would collect on the walls um, or at the tubing bends. And uh, that collected fluid would eventually increase in volume and it would eventually get large enough and the air would um, eject it out in kind of a large glob all at once. This would produce a spitting or dripping effect where you wouldn't have a nice smooth spray pattern. There'd also be the opportunity for fluid to collect in the hose each time the system was turned off and then when the system was turned on um, you'd have that extra amount of fluid being expelled all at once uh, and that'd be a mess. So a dual channel system like the one we have here, avoids all this by simply keeping the fluid separate from the air until just before it's sprayed. Although single channel is less uniform and precise than dual channel, it's still adequate for many applications like sawing, where there are no tool changes and the tool takes some time to start. So Nate, uh, being able to separate the fluid from the air really helps create a nice, clean spray pattern. Yeah, it does. And another benefit, John, of having a two-channel approach like this um, is response time in terms of changing the mixture between air and fluid. Again, if we were to combine the air and the fluid throughout the hose in a, in a single channel um, and then were to make a change to the proportion of fluid to air, uh, that change would have to work its way down the length of the hose. Um, but with a dual channel system like we have here, any changes are virtually instant and there's no mixture inside the hose that needs to be expelled uh, before the new mixture can be delivered. So Nate, with the dual uh, channel system, you have a much faster reaction time to changes in fluid delivery. Exactly. Okay, so in something like, say, like CNC machines that have lots of complexity and tool changes, you're able to quickly change the amount of fluid that's being applied depending on how the machine is set up and what tools are working where? Yeah, that's a great point, John. And for those types of operations where a fast response time is needed, um, our revolution system set up with dual channel outputs uh, can integrate with your CNC program and give you that quick response to lubrication changes that you need. Well, thanks, Nate, for coming in today and sharing a little bit about the dual channel system, and we appreciate your time. You bet. Thanks, John. If anyone has any more questions, uh, give us a call or visit us on the web at unis.com.